Stan Jabalisco here. I'd like to ask you to imagine something with me. Just imagine. What would it be like if, what would the radio spectrum be like if there was absolutely no regulation on it whatsoever? It's, uh, in a sense, a natural resource, like the air, like the ocean, like the lakes and the rivers and the land. Imagine if there were no regulation whatsoever of radio transmissions, if it had just evolved that way. Now, of course, it didn't. Right around the, the turn of the uh, 19th to the 20th century, right around the year 1900, was when the electromagnetic spectrum and radio waves were discovered. And it wasn't very long before lawmakers got their, their paws into the fray and all sorts of different services and licenses evolved. Broadcast, amateur radio, emergency communications. Frequencies were assigned. No one technically owned a frequency, and yet everybody owned all of them. And yet, there were limitations on what people could do in the radio spectrum. And as new discoveries were made and new frequency horizons and wavelength horizons opened up, new regulations evolved and they continue to evolve to this day. Imagine if our society had been an entirely different sort of system where there was no regulation. Anybody could build any kind of transmitter they wanted on any frequency they wanted with any amount of power they could, they could muster. And people could listen to those signals on their receivers and there were no restrictions of any kind at all. A completely free for all environment. Imagine if it was still like that now. Hmm, just imagine with me what it would be like on second thought, uh, I will leave comments open. This uh, video, of course, relates directly to the one having to do with um, the Federal Communications Commission busting a pirate radio station. But suppose there was no such thing as pirate radio. Everything was legitimate. Everything was allowable. It didn't matter. Didn't matter who he interfered with. Didn't matter. I mean, you know, common courtesy and common sense would dictate limitations on that. But what kind of environment would the radio spectrum be like? Again, I will leave comments open. I don't think I'm going to respond to any of them. But I will, uh, with great interest. Tune in. Hmm. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.